Active Presenter is a powerful e-learning authoring software for Windows and Mac. It includes all the tools needed to record screen, annotate, edit screencast videos and create interactive e-learning contents in HTML5. As a beginner, you may be confused about its feature-rich package, and how to use Active Presenter effectively. That's what I come in this tutorial video. I will cover 5 effective ways you can use Active Presenter for your business in this short overview. If you have not installed Active Presenter on your computer, follow the link in the description to download it. There are different versions for Windows or Mac. Read its system requirement carefully before you go. Let's getting started now. Number 1. Record Screen. Let's say you want to create a video demo. Chances are you need to record your actions on screen and edit videos when finished. You may also wish to have other things in the video like your face and voice. In this case, the record video function in Active Presenter is the best choice for you. With Active Presenter, you are able to choose full screen, customized area, record your webcam and audio from the microphone and so on. You can also choose a locked application to record. This option lets say you record what happening inside a program perfectly. Once your settings are finished, hit record button to start. After the countdown, the program will record everything that's happening inside the rectangular frame. By default, the recording toolbar will be hidden at the notification area. To stop the recording, you can use the default hotkeys, Ctrl End, or press stop button on the toolbar. Once you stop the recording, Active Presenter's editing workspace will appear. You can edit your recording, add annotations or simply export your recording to get the work done. The exporting time depends on the length and resolution of the video you chose. When finished, click on View the Output to find your video. That's how Active Presenter's recording screen tools works. Now I will show you another way to use Active Presenter. Number 2. Record a software simulation. In order to teach your customers how to use the software, you can simply choose the record screen option if it is not too complex. But, if you want to give your customers a more precise step-by-step -step tutorial, record software simulation option in Active Presenter will make your life a lot easier. It allows you to record any application on screen and save the process as a project with slides. These slides clearly show the procedure you have taken with the software. Besides, HTML5 output that allows learner interactions, provides instant feedback will help them learn how to use the software more effectively. Here is how this option works. When you launched record software simulation at Active Presenter's start page, the recording toolbar will appear on the screen. It's similar to the toolbar when you choose record screen option. The same settings can be applied to this option. For example, you can change capture size area, or simple hit full screen to record everything. In order to create a software simulation, you'll need to choose record a locked application. After you check the box, select the application from the drop down menu. Check the micro icon if you want to record audio from your microphone and system sound. Click on the red button to start your recording. Now you can show what your customers need to know about your software. The program will record your activities step by step perfectly. When you finish the recording, press Ctrl and N to stop it. The recorded project is a series of slides containing steps that you have carried out. Here you can edit all the objects as you want. For example, you can resize the shapes, change the feedback messages. Before exporting, you can also preview the process in HTML5 to see how it works. Finally, export the project to HTML5 which is the most suitable output format for an interactive simulation. 
With HTML5 exporting, learners can view and interact with the contents. This is an amazing time-saving option of Active Presenter. That's the second way you can use Active Presenter. Number 3. Turn your PowerPoint presentation into engaging learning videos. You may know that some recent versions of Microsoft PowerPoint have a facility to save presentations as videos. Despite this, the function still comes with its limitations. For example, you can't change audio speed and closed caption. There are only two supported video formats, WMV and MP4, as well. With Active Presenter, you can import a presentation into the app, and it will create a new project for you to edit the way you want. This amazing app is an ideal choice to convert both PPT and PPTX files into videos. Then, you can edit and export them to many video output formats. Here's how you can do that. On Active Presenter's Start page, click Import PowerPoint. Choose the file you want. Here you can select a single slide or all slides. As you can see, all slides are imported into Active Presenter's working space, including themes, background images and font style perfectly. After finished editing, you can export the project into video formats or HTML5. That's how to turn your PowerPoint slides into other formats with Active Presenter. Number 4. Edit Videos Basically, Active Presenter provides you a wide variety of features to edit recorded videos or existing videos on your computer. You can use them to edit the timing, change cursor effects, annotations, and even insert zoom and pan effect into your recorded videos. These tasks can be done in a couple of minutes. Here's how to edit video in Active Presenter. In order to edit an existing video on your computer, at the start page, create a blank project. Before importing footage to the working space, remember to customize your output resolution and background color. There are different ways to import your footage into working space. The easiest way is to click on Annotation, Video, Choose from File. You can also drag and drop the footage into the preview window for editing. With Active Presenter, you can easily cut, crop, join, change volume, speed up, slow down, apply shapes, image, zoom and pan, closed caption, cursor path as I mentioned earlier in this tutorial. If you need any further advanced tutorial of Active Presenter, drop your question at the comments section. Number 5. Create a fully responsive e-learning course.
That's the end of today's video tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching and see you in my next videos.